Hi, I'm Kyle Cease, and I wanted to share a video with you that I really feel is special um, and powerful, and I promise will create um, some change in you if you check it out. Um, this is another video that stems from the morning calls that I'm doing. Um, if you don't know already, I'm working with a group of 50 people um, almost every single weekday morning for about six months. We're doing at least 100 calls together. And what we're doing is we wake up every morning at 6 a.m. and we meditate together on Zoom for an hour. And then the second hour, we look at the patterns that are coming up. We identify, you know, the illusions, the fears, and, you know, kind of have a lot of revelations and live more presently, more fully, and, you know, more our truest selves. And I can tell you, in doing it this long, so far we're on call 28 next, and the amount of changes that have already started happening for people are, are so profound, realizing these different addictive ways that we live, you know, out of a fear of not being seen, um, and how much those patterns almost running every decision we make, and we don't even know it. And this video that I'm about to share is from a client and a friend named John Pogachar who is someone who's been in the work, he's been trying to figure this out and making a lot of changes and he's done some really profound things, but you can hear at the beginning of this video that he's in a struggle and he's trying to figure out what to do. And we start to see that there's a part of him that is in his body and we all have these things in our body that feel unloved or abandoned or unheard or unsafe or whatever. And John has that showing up, but what happens when it shows up for him is he often tries to fix it. He tries to make it feel loved or feel safe or figure out a strategy. And in doing that, he's not actually being present with the unloved part of himself. And this is huge because when we allow ourselves to just be with the feeling of unloved, be with the feeling of unseen and be present, we're actually seeing the pattern and being with it. And it's finally safe and often when it's safe it can leave so i just found this to be so full of just powerful revelations and i wanted to share it with you um and uh yeah i hope you enjoy it this is a deep really intimate video and i want you to know it's being shared completely with john pogachar's permission which is awesome and just my hope for you is it helps you open your heart a little bit more and be a space for all the pain that we often carry and don't even know we're carrying and you know when you do that you can release a little bit of it so that's just my hope is that it kind of lightens your day a little bit and makes you you know helps you to feel safer and in your power so enjoy this amazing video I don't remember the day. It was like day number 20 or something like that. But this is John Pogachar and I working together and doing some deep change. Enjoy. Pogachar, can I go to you? Is that okay? I'm just going to pull, pull you out today because John Pogachar, I noticed also has been opening his heart and crying a lot. Like I can feel that um, John Pogachar on these calls sometimes has Rebecca level breakdowns. Remember how Rebecca, you'll just see the big release, then we go to Rebecca and it's just amazing. I see John having those too, where I see full days of John having those. So John went to the daycare and is in the ball pit right now. So <laughs> how he's doing. <laughs> hey, can you hear me? I'm good. You doing good? good? Is there anything you want to talk about? No problem if no. Um, you know, there's always different things. I'm going to go outside. Um, and um, you know, I'm traveling. And so. Are you in a Silomar? I'm in Virginia. Oh. No. Right now I'm in Virginia um, at Shenandoah National Park. But, you know, I've been working on my coaching program and. It's not always going, you know, up, 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 up. It's, you know, it's got these falls and people don't show up for an event that I plan. And so then I blame myself for that and didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Um, so, so over the weekend, I mean, there was a lot of release on that and, and I did put that out, but it's just like this constant growth, this constant, um, the meditation and, you know, you got to stay in this work, um, and I applaud you for encouraging everybody to do that. But um, because if you don't, 
then then you're falling off. Then you're you know you start beating yourself up again. So, um, but it's this constant being a uh, traveling, and then also doing the calls with you, and um, and doing the meditation has been um, has been has been really good for me throughout this traveling because I took off in July. July fifth was my Independence Day. I took off. But there was lots of things that I had to look at myself, just look inside and go, yeah, you know, that look at the fear. There was some fear about traveling across the United States and where will I land? But, you know, I landed at Michael Burley's place. I landed at Dan Rosio's place. Christy Ruckus, I landed up, you know, in Michigan. Um, I've been in Nova Scotia with um, some beautiful people with Mary Dixon and, and Edward Dixon. So, and then Laurel, you know, who's on the AP call um, in New Jersey and, you know, Jennifer Odie, who's also on this call, and I've landed there, and I've always been safe and always caught. And this collective meditation that you talk about is, because when we meditate together, I feel like I can drop into it so much easier than just doing it myself, you know, on a weekend. So. Wow. Yeah. So <clears throat> one of the things that happens to me when I talk to people, and I don't know if anyone can see this, because I want to show you guys something <clears throat> that I experience is is actually the feeling of specific physical energies in my body so when i hear john talk what i hear is a major desire for oneness with actually even though it's all love and doing amazing a very calcified um character that is going to be a really big fall apart like i actually feel <laughs> calcification of something that's like it starts coming everyone whenever you talk and especially on this one it's like it's going to my left shoulder like something's trying to shove out and but it's it's a hardened kind of energy okay that's wanting to fall apart so we yes. all have different feelings and then you can feel like it's going to uh do some type of thing like i can feel john having one hell of a collapse. And I know John's had a lot of collapses, but what I feel is that the collapses happen and then John, you you let a lot of collapses happen, but then still pick up some of the old parts and put them back in. Do you understand what I mean? So like yeah. you, you you have this oneness, you you fall apart and you go to the next level and then you're in this total lostness and confusion. So then you grab back pieces that fell out of you that are little chunks of calcified energy that go, I don't understand where the hell I'm going. So I'm going to grab onto the parts of me from the past that did have some understanding of where things are going and put them back into my body. And I'm going to stack these things. Do you get what I'm saying? Because there's a part of you that when you have no idea what's going on, that scares you and you have a magical part that follows it, but there's still some kind of yeah, but there's got to be something that I got to make. How do I make money? There's got to be tangible. Okay, now that I'm open, what's the structure that I build? And then it kind of recloses it again. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? It, 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 yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be crying if it didn't make sense. So I guess, yeah, it does make sense. Right? So like... <laughs> You not knowing what to do. When are we going to get this? <laughs> right, right. So when you actually get to this open space of lostness, <clears throat> instead of like letting yourself get used to an open space of lot, like I'd love for you to have a week of not even filling the lostness with any idea of what the fuck's going on, right? You You might want to do it in someone like Eckhart Tolle's house or something so you can you know, have someone mirror to you that that's okay but what i feel is like the equivalent of you're riding a bike and you're finally ready to take the training wheels off and you take them off and now the bike's wobbly but instead of like going forward and getting good at the the bike we put the training wheels back on again so we keep putting training wheels back on but you fucking know how to ride a bike with them off you just haven't gone forward with the bike without training wheels so we keep kind of like going where a bike with training wheels can go, which is in the safe spaces of a empty parking lot versus being able to mountain bike and do shit that's in, in the hills and stuff yet because we keep kind of grabbing the training wheels. Is there any part that that like hits or makes sense to you? 
no yeah it makes sense it makes sense you know i try you know i go yeah I'm, you know i have the fall apart i go yeah this is what i'm gonna do but then there is that you know it's like the rubber band going backwards you know after you stretched it it's like and then it's like picking up those pieces again and, and going okay are do you really feel safe are you are you safe um yeah and if you let that instead of going oh my security is right here so what if it goes instead uh, of going my security is right here yeah so what if it says are you safe and you be the space for it instead of answering it i'm not safe let's fill this do you get what i'm saying like you bring yeah. a new knowing to you that becomes the space for the part of you because that's the next part of a fall apart and i can feel this is resonating with a few people on here like that the people that we know what it's like we know we there's a part of you that wants to have this fall apart you wants this you would not be you are on so much stuff that i do and you're dedicated and you're in right and your next level is to honor this dedication and not keep re-honoring the old fear your next level is next fall apart we're saying i'm going for it all the way because i want to know what the fuck i am right <clears throat> and we go into the unknown. We go into, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm lost. And that's fucking okay, right? I want you to know right now, this is probably something I should tell you, but no one here, including me, will let you fall. Okay? No one here, including me, will let you fall. You're loved. You're a star. won't let you be homeless. No one will let you be in there. Am I right, callers? Am I right, everybody on the call? No one will let him fall. But there's, yeah, feel that. And we need to move like nothing will let us fall. Not only us and each other, but the space. Do you guys feel that? We want to move like nothing. If we move like we're still going to fall, then we don't let the universe actually in. We want to move like nothing will let us fall. Now, John's old story and most of our old story is that we did trust someone and then they let us fucking fall. Right? We will not let us fall. Exactly. Ashley, that's good. We will not let us fall. We have each other's backs. I know that this group will not let me fall. I know that if I have a bad day, I could come onto one of the calls and you guys will have me. I could say I'm having the worst day. I could say I'm off. Can I tell you about it? I can cry it out. And because of that, I can transcend a lot in my heart because I know I have that energy. This group represents a group of people that all has each other's back. We will not let you fall. So we can go to a surrender-based energy. John, you're, you've dedicated your life to this. Now you've just got to dedicate your heart and your energy to believe you won't fall. Because what I feel is the universe is still trying to get in and if you keep putting the training wheels back on, it can't grab you. So your, your heart, your dedication, your effort is through the roof, but the nervous system is like, yeah, I'm still not safe. And that's where your struggle is. So you move forward, but the nervous system's like, yeah, but I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna do this, but I'm going to keep a backup plan. I'm gonna keep the training wheels. I'm gonna keep this thing. And it's going, I'm going to fucking clear this out. Aaron, you can. Aaron says, I wish I could feel that not falling thing. You can. Just decide. If I had more time, I'd go to you on this. <laughs> but right now, and John's probably so sweet. Yeah, go to Aaron. Help. No, John, I'm not letting you fall. No, I want me, me. <laughs> okay. So that little lifesaver, the training wheels, are they active right now so we can talk to them? Are they like, okay, I just fell apart. There's probably room for more fall apart. And then yeah. the voice that comes in addictively and goes, okay, so what do I do then? Yes, I hear that. I hear that voice. So what do it, I do then? It's saying, what do I do then? And it's saying, what do I do then? And what's its, like we said to Linda, what's its deeper question? 
right? It says, what do I do then? What's its deeper question? Instead of what do I do, that's a fix to something. What's the fix? I think the fix is just to continue to love myself more. But just that comes be in, okay. But that comes in because the core belief that the in, in, inner you has is something like, I'm scared, I feel unloved. What's that? Or is it, is it just to be okay with all that's coming up and not worry about anything? I'm sure. just okay. I'm I'm totally safe. I'm totally secure. Totally safe. I've got all you. I've got space that's around me. You do. And just be totally okay with it. And and you do. And I what do I do is the usual question that comes up every time you have a fall apart, right? What do I do? How do I make money? How do I right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What is that? the fix to what's the core sentence your inner child is saying that you're going to affix to a feeling right what's the core thing that child is saying if you're trying to fix 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 you're already going to a what do i do out of a denial of seeing something that your inner child says what's the inner child saying do you guys understand what i'm saying it just for me or I guess what I'm hearing is just see me, just see me for who I am. Okay. No inner child says, what do I do? Okay. That's the fix to an okay. unseen inner child. Does everyone get that? Okay. No inner child says, I got to go to work. No inner child says, how do I get them to not make me broke? That's, that's our solution level to a core point that an inner child says. So is it, I feel unloved? I feel scared? It's simple. It's a simple thing like that. The inner child. So I feel lost. I feel abandoned. I feel lonely. Stay there. <laughs> That's true. Don't fix anything. Right? That inner child feels lost and needs to be with you in its lostness. So you have to be a big safe space for a lost inner child. Not fixing so that it doesn't feel seen and it doesn't feel that it's okay that it feels lost. The inner child in you does not feel it's okay to feel lost. I know, you know, when I'm out hiking on a trail, I go, well, how can you feel lost if you're seeing other hikers and you're saying right. hi to them and stuff like that? So you're arguing with it. Have you ever told someone I don't feel loved by you and then they said, have you ever told someone I don't feel loved by you and then they said something like, I loved you the other day or you know I love you. Does that feel loved or are they looking to find evidence of times that they loved you to prove to you they loved you do you get what I'm saying? I don't feel you see me right now. I saw you yesterday, right? So this child in you feels scared and unloved. Am I right? Yeah. Now, when you're showing it evidence that it feels loved, believe it or not, it feels unloved. Because you're not seeing it you're not completely. Seeing, you're not seeing it. Here's what it needs. I feel unloved. I hear you. And we just sit in that darkness. I feel unloved. I love you. I feel unloved. I totally hear you. I understand. You're allowed to feel unloved in my body. Your unloved child has not got to feel allowed to feel unloved. You've gone to a fixing, a solution, proof as a way to continue to help it feel unloved. Okay. Right? You instead of like just that? being instead of just being with it. Just being the just love it. just hearing it. <clears throat> if you said to me, I don't think you love me, and I showed you evidence of another time that I loved you. Yeah. Or even showed you that I love you right now. Is that is that not an energy of an argument a little bit? Look, look I'm loving you right now. Versus really leaving a space for you. To see, <clears throat> I hear you that you feel unloved. Yeah, there's a big difference. There's a huge difference. 
Yeah. One is a mental argument that denies the depth of what your inner child feels. And your inner child, today's the first day that your inner child's going to actually feel seen by getting to say, I feel unloved, and you don't prove to it, you don't cater to it, you don't fix it, you don't figure it out, you don't come up with a solution, you don't create the coaching program, you sit there with it. I just love it. And just let it feel unloved. Yeah, love it and let it feel unloved. Even bigger, let it feel unloved. Because that brings in an energy that loves it. Instead of you just loving it, which is fine, you holding it while another energy outside of you in this moment loves it. That's, that sound is the forklift removing his small story and the training wheels out of his body. <clears throat> So it's, it, it's about being a space for it to feel unloved, to feel lost, to feel all these different things it feels. With no solution. With no what solution. If, what if your ego finally, see, here's what's happened, Juan. Your ego has created every solution versus the universe creating the next level. Except for love on every billboard. That was kind of magical. But that came in a surrender. <laughs> I, I still have that thing that comes up and go, okay, all right, so I get this, now Now what's next? Yes, yes, yes. So what is its core thing? It, that we're just going to work on that. I'm glad you just told me that. So it said, okay, so what is this, what is this? Do you guys see how it, the, the, the pain thing needs to be seen here? It's saying, what is this? What's its core thing? Okay, you guys, I'm, I'm going to start doing that on these calls. The sentence you said is this, what's the core point the inner child saying? right so with linda and john the theme today is it says i need to do this isn't that interesting how the themes always line up how many times has it happened where the thing that i brought up that day ended up being the core theme of the call right that's so interesting right so john and linda have something similar here the the skimming fear-based fix is the is the smoke to the fire of the core question. What's the core thing that it's saying? We're gonna fix this, John. We're gonna get this. <laughs> Not some fixer energy, but we're gonna nail this. The core thing that the ego is saying? When you said it says, okay, so you just had the thing. And the first thing that happened was this voice goes, yeah, but I gotta, yeah, but I gotta, what do I do? What do I do? Yeah, yeah, there's still that. Okay, so I can sit here and I can, you know, love the lost child and I can allow him to be lost and unloved. But then there's this other thing. Okay, so that's what you're going to do is just what's sit its, there. What's its core sentence? That's what you're going to do. Just no. sit here. No. <laughs> no child is going, so that's what you're going to do? Just sit here? No. Oh, no. The child wouldn't say that. The child would just say, just... I just, I'm still feeling lost and unloved. You're not hearing me. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, right there. So the ego tries to fix it, and but the child is still saying. It feels lost right now. I'm lost and. In... <sighs> yeah, I'm still just lost in them. Yeah. Right? And okay. Unloved. Yeah. Stay with that for a second. Feel that. This is great. <laughs> The pattern is going to shift today, and I'm going to show you how to know that. Every thought that comes up for you, John, that says, so I'm just going to, how do I make money, blah, 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 is the smoke. You understand what I'm saying? The fire is the child core you that says, I'm lost or I'm scared or I'm unloved. Just so you know, every one of the things that you're used to going to, so I just do this to make money, so I just, just sit here and do nothing, those things are the fear-based response to a core-based thought. And if I can get you to rewire yourself to start looking at the coreous thought a little faster than the smoke thought, are you with me? No. Okay. Are you guys with me? Is anyone else with me understanding? Okay. 
you are often looking at the smoke and you can't put out smoke. Yeah. Okay. Right. Every thought that's that stressful. So what do I do? Right. Uh, Every thought you're throwing water on smoke, which can't be put out. It can't be put out. So every time you see smoke, what's the sentence when there's smoke, there's fire, there's fire. So you have been looking at the smoke for the last year. Okay. Okay. So the smoke is the sign of a fire. Right? The smoke is, you can't do this, da da da. That's a pattern, right? Mm -hmm. It's looking at the shallower end. It's looking at the, the, the symptom, not the truth. The truth okay. is, the fire says, so every time you have a thought come up, I can't, he doesn't understand, I'm not, well, how do I make money? Tell me the, the 20 sentences that are always showing up. Tell me what they are. What are the smoke sentences? <laughs> like, you know, what do I do next? Why isn't this working? You know, you tried that um, and you failed again. Um, yes. Yeah. So do you understand that if for, for the rest of your life, anytime those sentences are coming up, they are the sign of a fire point. Don't look at the smoke. Go to the fire. Every time, every time you're used to these sentences coming up, it's been such a part of your life. And it's been, it's so second nature. That's the calcified you that's under that because it hasn't been looked at. You're looking at what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And those are the signs of the fire. And what are the fire sentences? Meaning the inner child is just saying what? The inner child is just saying I'm lost. I, I'm unloved, um, you know. I just want to be held. I just want to be heard. I just want somebody to talk to me. It just, um, I'd even, I'd even be seen. the first couple are even more. I feel unloved. I feel lost. I wouldn't even, I love the, all the ones you just said, but even yeah. I just want to be held is even one step farther than I feel unheld, right? I want you to not give yourself a job to fix it versus just let it feel lost in your body. I want you to make a space where it is allowed to feel unloved in your body. Okay. Unloved has not been allowed in your body. That's the fire. If I tell you like it feels unloved, I want you to hold space or it to feel unloved without all you have to do, all you have to do is not fix it. All you have to do is not come up with a solution. Is not fix it. I want to create a consciousness in you that can hold space for an unloved you. That's your growth. You are going to connect to the universe so much that you and the universe together are going to collaboratively hold space for an unloved you. An unloved you exists in every one of us, you guys. An unseen you, an unloved you, a lost you, a scared you. Hell yeah, John. And your consciousness, all of your consciousness. Hold space for that unloved. That's good, John. That's a hell of a release. Because unloved has been all the way unallowed in your body because you so we just sit here. Look, I have evidence that you're loved. We have the nature, we have the stuff. And it's like, I feel in love by you. There's these hikers. I, I, I'm not seen by you. I loved you yesterday. We get to hang out with, we get to hang out with all these different people. Look, we, yeah, but I'm not seen by you awesome we get to hang out at Michael V's house and all these other amazing people's house but you don't see me yeah but I get to do this yeah but we get this this has come out of it do you see me right now I feel unloved <laughs> what do we do? Just sit here I feel unloved just sit here I feel unloved start a coaching program I feel unloved and we just keep fixing this poor voice I feel unloved well we can create I feel unloved, so just sit here. I feel unloved. Ah, the coaching program, feeling loved, and you. I feel fucking unloved. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a 
child in you that feels pain and all you gotta do is create a consciousness that allows that pain. That pain is allowed in our bodies. We are stronger than that. We don't need to run from a place of darkness in our body. We don't need to, we are not scared of a part of us that feels unloved. We don't need to fix like it's our warden, that's it's our boss. Otherwise, that thing is your boss, John. That child that says, I feel unloved, is running you versus you being a space for it. Do you guys see the difference? Yeah. Like that is unfathomable to your ego up until today for you to feel unloved. You created a solution after solution after solution after solution. You need to have a right in your body. All of us need to have a right for there to be space for your child to feel what is it? Scared, unlovable, unloved, lost. That is, the, that is our new growth. I am a space that is big enough and powerful enough and strong enough to hold space for an energy that feels unloved. And man, could you hold space for a lot of the world once that happens. And by the way, that'll be painful for a while and then it'll be magic. That's going to move from painful to magic because then you and this unloved part will start to be friends and it will start to feel loved. It just feels unseen by you repeatedly. Uh, and you're seeing it now. So today's growth, bud, today's growth is you are a space for your unloved parts. And we don't come up with this. How's that feel, John? It, it feels really good. It feels really good to just go, be, just be that space, be the space for that unloved, that unloved child, that unloved person. Yeah. And just yeah. be there with it. And not even having to, like you said, create, not having to create anything. Not even have to do anything. Just be a space for it. Yeah. Even that's almost too much work. <laughs> but yes. That was so good. Could just be with it. Just be with it. <clears throat> so today, yes, just be with it. Today you're going to be with it. And today, if you have a lot of things come up, like, so just sit here, what is that a sign of? Every the time, smoke. The sm that's smoke. So what's the fire? The fire is the, the, fire is the, the child that just wants to feel unloved or just yeah. the feeling that feels unloved. I just and feel unloved. Yeah. And your pattern has been, I'm addicted to the smoke. Yeah. To avoid the fire. Uh -huh. To avoid the fire. You've yeah. been avoiding the truth, which is I feel lost by looking at the smoke and the fix, which completely kept Mary Fest, it's time to quit smoking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, smoke is the sign of something that's unseen. Now, if there's something unseen in your body, what the hell's life going to be like when that shit's seen? It's going to be magic. It's going to be magic. We don't ever get to see the fire in John Pogachar. We've been seeing the smoky response to the fire. You know when you're driving on the freeway and you can see smoke coming? The first thing you do is look for the core of where it's coming from. You see the, you're looking for yeah. the fire. We're just seeing smoke and your addiction to the smoke. I want to see your fire. We're going to take the fire of the inner child that feels unseen and put it right on the end of our chest for God, the universe, whatever to see it. I feel unseen. Boom. Whew. You're going to become a man now for that inner child boy that needs a real dad. Needs a 2019 dad. A conscious dad. A loving dad. You're going to get all your power now.
you know, it feels like shit, but it feels so good at the same time. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And, and you know, there's so much unknown out there, but it's like, go into it. Yeah. Well, there's more unknown in your body. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm more curious what's in your body. You know, I started to call what there is no in and out, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. You looking at the external all day to avoid this. Yes. Yeah. Um, this is really your unknown you're scared of. All yeah. that outside is trying to trigger you to child. Inside. It's always inside out. It's that lump inside that goes, look at me. And we're going to walk around and start to practice. This. And it won't be painful forever, I promise. It'll be expensive. And you're going to move into being one of the safest, most powerful, credible, leading men on this planet who is here to be here for both your inner child and everyone else's inner child. You're going to create something so fucking that once you transcend this. <clears throat> There's going to be a, a power in you that you've never seen before, I promise. Today, I just have to sit yeah. and be okay. Now you have to sit, and then a now again, and then a now again, yeah. and then a now again, and a more moment. Yeah. Okay. So today's a big day. Feel free to shoot me a text on how you're doing, because I know it's a big day for you, and I know you have my number. So shoot me a text on how you're doing and stuff all day today. But it, So if I don't answer, that's okay. But still, I just want to make sure you're okay. But choose to do this for you today, okay? Yeah. You got it? I got it. All right. Thank okay. you, Kyle, so much.